I want to show you a really amazing tool in box cutter that will allow you to cut very precisely using booleans uh, through box cutter. So if I'm going to add a cube here and just run regular cut, you know, I can select uh, my cube. I can just, you know, click here somewhere and drag my cutter and cut. Now that's all great, but you can see that it's not symmetrical. It's not even, um, you know, I can't really specify where I'm clicking. It's not really very precise. It's great for concepting, but not for, you know, not good for precision work. Now, what if you, you know, wanted to design something a bit more precise, right? Now, what you can do is you can enable the snap tool and don't confuse it with this one. It's the same icon, but that's for Blender. This one is for box cutter. So if I switch it between box cutter and hard ops or turn it off, you see that this is a feature for box cutter. So don't confuse this with this two different things. Okay. So by default, you're going to have all these options enabled here. Um, so you're going to be snapping to uh, vertices, um, edges and faces, right? So let me show you how it works. If you hold control and you have to hold it all the time because the dots will disappear and hover over uh, your mesh, you will see dots. And these dots will determine uh, where the anchor of the cut will be placed. So if I'm going to hover over this dot here and start drawing a cutter, you see by default, it's going to be growing from the middle. So first of all, you are snapping to the dot. And secondly, the origin of the cutter or the origin of the draw changes from corner to the center because here you see I'm drawing from a corner here I'm drawing from a center you see the difference right now you can change this uh, very simply by going here and switching uh, the you know the draw origin or you can go to D menu and do the same thing in here uh, but uh, these are presets and by the way, you can also change them here, but that's in, you know, that's going really deep into settings and, and the tools. And if you really want to go deeper on this one, I really recommend our course, the ultimate guide to hard ups and box cutter 2.0, mainly because it's amazing. And the reason why it's amazing is because this is the only complete source of knowledge and practical knowledge on these add-ons. We've been using them for years uh, for professional use, for YouTube videos and for courses, and we know them inside out. And in this course, I will teach you literally everything you need to know, including my personal workflow, which is really simple, but I'm going to also show you all these tools, all these things that, you know, no one knows about and doesn't understand. Okay. So you can create your own personal workflow and you can actually understand what these tools are doing because there's quite a lot of them. So if you're interested, hop on our website and grab it. The link to the course is in the video description and in the comment pinned under the video. So going back, right, if I hold again, if I hold control and draw, I'm drawing from the middle. Now, if you want to switch this behavior, you can by simply tapping out. So watch. If I'm going to hold control and start drawing from the middle, if I tap out, right, I'm going to switch to um, a corner draw, right? And I can do this. And this is going to be drawn specifically from the middle of this cube. So if I'm going to mirror this, right? You see, it's in the middle of the cube, right? So that's a very basic behavior of this tool. But you know, we can get a bit more fancy. So first of all, what you can do, you can turn off, enable or disable different features here. It's so like you can disable, for example, vert and, and edges and snap only to faces, right? And if you subdivide your mesh, right, you're going to have more faces. So if you're going to have all these features enabled, it could be actually a war zone. Okay. So, you know, the denser the mesh, the fewer elements you want to have enabled here. And now it's going to be very different, right? Cool. So now what you can do, you can draw from each of these faces and you can, you know, draw a very precise cut on your mesh, right? Like for example, you could draw something in here and then mirror this to both sides. And you're going to be sure that the distance here on these sides is, you know, is identical. So it's great for precision work. But now check this out. You have more options, way more options in here. I'm not going to be going into detail on all of them, but I'll show you one or two. And uh, well, this will be one. And another one that's really interesting is actually um, the snapping tool. So if you're going to snap, uh, enable snapping to increments, right? And you're going to enable uh, the static dot and dot to dot snap, then things are going to get a bit more interesting because even now, if I'm going to hover over, right, and I'm going to start drawing, you see my cutter starts snapping to other dots on this mesh. You see that?
so you can get even more precise because you're not just getting precise with the origin of the draw but now you're getting precise with the end of the draw so you can for example draw something like this right now this one would be precisely in the middle here right so distance from this face to this face or this edge to this edge is the same as on the other side so you don't have to really mirror this right um so you, you can get seriously precise with these cuts right and now watch what i can do here if i'm going to align my uh, i'm going to give you an example align myself just to the edges so actually let's let's align to verts so we can grab this vert in the middle here, that's in the middle of this cube, right? And I can actually hold control, start scrolling my mouse, which is going to allow me to preview uh, my cut. Yeah, you see that? So I'm now previewing the angle of my cut. And I can actually angle it like this and start drawing. Then I can hold Alt to start drawing from the middle and press Shift to draw a square. And now I'm really precise with my draw. So I'm drawing at an angle like this right in the middle of this cube precisely in between these elements now this is fantastic for running booleans on a mesh that you're going to be subdividing because what you want is you want these cuts in the middle so you can connect them very easily right so watch this if i'm going to go here and enable faces and i'm going to be joined in the middle here like this right if i'm going to apply this right so I'm going to go here, Operation Smart Apply. All I need to do, basically, is, you know, is connect these edges here, right? And then uh, connect these across, and I have quads. And I have a really nicely spaced and clean topology, as clean as you can get, you know, on a mesh like this, right? So all I will need to do now is connect these, right? So, you know, connect these, connect these, right? And connect these. And, uh, and there you go. That's your mesh. And then all you need to do is you know, click on this loop here, right? And then we can control B this, press P, right? Scroll your mouse, adjust the angle, press A to adjust the depth and Bob Jankel. And this is going to be, you know, you're securing loops around your mesh for sub D and look how clean that looks, right? And, you know, I'm not going to be going deeper into these options because quite a lot of them, you have other stuff like, for example, this one is fantastic snap grid, you know? So now if you're going to hover over with this feature enabled right over any of these faces you can align this grid to any of these so what if i wanted to cut from uh, you know from outside like that but i didn't want to be in orthographic view and i'll be in a perspective view i can't do this because it's, it will not allow me to draw i need to have a reference surface from which i can draw so this grid can allow you to do that so if i'm going to hover over here hold control and draw from outside I can do that while snapping to these dots which is incredible right so now I can precisely cut in you know on this edge so again this is a fantastic tool and if you combine it just as another tip if you combine it with the dice tool from hard ups right so you can go to dice v2 press v and scroll and you know and apply your quads boom bob jungle right and you can keep going do you see what i mean so anyway like i said if you want to dive much deeper into this grab our course the ultimate guide to hard ups and box cutter 2.0 this course will seriously teach you how to use these add-ons on a professional level so if you want to do some serious damage that's the best course on the market this is the second edition of our course it was a, one of the top selling courses since the first release and there's a good reason for it these add-ons are amazing and they will save you about 800 percent of your time it's crazy how fast you can work with these add-ons. It's insane. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.